Hey, how's it going? This is Jesse here at REI Conversion. I'm going to be walking you through our new update for the property content lock and uh, what the new update allows you to do now, if somebody is visiting the property on your page or if somebody is coming through on Facebook or whatever it may be, you can now get them to opt in a form like this. When somebody submits this in, you will be able to identify which property they were specifically looking at. That gives you a chance to understand the property that they're looking at and allows you to tailor the message directly to them about that property. So what happens is when they submit this property or when they submit this form, there'll also be a unique identifier um, that um, you are able to assign to this property. And then you can push this through the Zapier onto something like Active Campaign, Mailer Light, Follow Up Boss, and add that tag to that contact. And then you can run your automation or you can follow up with them specifically on that property. Again, it just gives you a lot more uh, details and a lot better targeting when talking to your buyer leads um, about the property they're looking at. This also gives you a chance to also add them to a specific email list because they're looking at properties within only a specific uh, county, right? So again, allowing you to refine that marketing message to them um, after and allowing you to warm that lead up. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, update your property content lock plugin. Now this is only for existing customers already. New installs of REI land list will have this already all set up. So if, um, if you're brand new, this won't, and you won't need to do this step at all. But for existing customers who, uh, and users who have the site set up already, you'll need to, um, down, if you don't have property content lock, you can come to reiconversion.com, go to your accounts page, download the, go to your downloads page and download the plugin and add that in. For those of us that have, uh, the property content lock already, you'll want to update a few things. Uh, you'll want to update the theme itself. So to update the theme, you're just going to go to appearance, themes and then you're going to go to theme details and you're going to be given a chance or you're going to see a message here allowing you to update so you can see i need to update here and then you're going to come into your plugins and you're going to do the same thing where you're going to um, you're going to get a chance to update the plugin as you see some of these messages here but this is already the latest property content lock plugin now i'm going to go ahead and actually update my theme right now so to just hit update and then just wait a few seconds all right, so your theme is now updated. You can see here, by the time you're watching this video, it could be a later version that we pushed out um, as we constantly, again, keep pushing out updates for our themes. Okay, so now that we've updated our plugin and our theme, uh, we'll also actually one more plugin that you'll want to update other than just the property content lock is uh, the Zapier property listing. If you have that, uh, we're, we're going to be launching a new version of that when you're, this video uh, is not showing the later version uh, because in the new Zapier property listing, we're going to allow for this functionality in the property content lock. Uh, so basically you can list a property through your CRM and it will also assign that property with a unique identifier that um, you're going to add to that property. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is go to your Ninja Forms and we're going to actually have to add a new field to the property content lock form. Now, if you go to property content lock, you'll be able to identify which form you're using. As it says here, uh, you can edit out all your text and then the form that it's going to pull from. Uh, and this one is pulling from Ninja Form ID equals four. So I'm going to go into your uh, into Ninja Forms and I've already done this already. I'm going to look for ID number four and this is the one that we're using for that pop-up screen that you saw earlier, uh, this one right here. Okay, now the only thing you need to add is this hidden field. And to add a hidden field, you're just gonna hit this plus sign and then you're going to add hidden. All right, you're gonna drag it in as the last one under your email. Now I've already done that and I'm just gonna show you how that looks like. When I click into this, um, you're going to be able to add a label. You can label this whatever you want. And the next thing you're going to want to add is this code or this short code. Uh, this will relate, uh, you'll, you'll see later that this will pull basically a unique identifier that we assigned to this property only uh, so that we know when somebody submits this form that they were looking at that specific property and that's identified by that unique ID. So we're gonna click on to this field here. You're gonna, you're gonna actually see nothing here. Uh, you're gonna go hit this little icon on the right. Then you're going to go into property content lock and then just hit the property content lock, sorry, the content lock note. That's what it's going to be pulling from. You're gonna hit done. Uh, 
and then you're going to hit publish. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to actually do that. The next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to add this to, to uh, add Zapier to your forms, right? You're you're going to be using this only with something like Zapier. I mean, you don't need to. You can manually just look at what people are submitting manually, and then uh, whatever the ID that you assigned is, then you can sort of manually. Um, uh, email them. But if we're going to be running something that is automated, you're going to need Zapier. Zapier is a super powerful tool. Um, so the first thing you need to do is obviously sign up for a Zapier account uh, at zapier.com. Uh, you're going to want the paid version. Again, this will save you a lot of time with automating certain tasks in the future. Okay, so coming back to your site, uh, we also need to tie our Ninja forms to Zapier if you haven't done so. Now, a lot of you already are doing that. Uh, if you haven't, you're just going to go to uh, REI land list and then come to add ons and then go to this uh, Ninja, sorry, Ninja forms plus Zapier, hit more info, and then um, you'll come here and just purchase. Uh, all you need is a single site. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to, they're going to give you an, um, sorry, a license, and then you're just going to follow the guide um, that they provide you to uh, connect Ninja Forms with Zapier. And you, then you can just simply go to settings, really. Um, sorry, I think it's plugins. Yeah, you're going to get a file. You're just going to install that Ninja Forms Zapier plugin. Then you come back to Zapier here, or sorry, Ninja Forms here, and then come to settings. And then licenses is where you're going to enter in the license key that they're going to give you to uh, activate that plugin. Now you can see if it's activated by coming into add ons here. And you can see that mine is active when I go down to where are you, Zapier? Here we go. It's active, right? Okay, so now that I've activated Zapier, now some of you might call it Zapier, um, Zapier is Zapier. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is add the unique ID to that property so you can identify that when somebody submits the form to you. So I'm going to go into my properties and you're going to go here, right? And simply under the documents tab, if we scroll down, you're going to find the property lock content lock ID note. Uh, this is what's going to identify that property. Now you can call it whatever you could call it. Um, you know, you could even just call it a county if you just want to organize people by county. So I'll do it as uh, whatever county, whatever you want to do. This is this is information that you're going to be able to take bring into your, um, you know, your autoresponder, your email system, your CRM, however you want to do that. This just gives you now a chance to identify exactly what they're looking at. And you can get as creative as you want. So let's just say I'm going to assign it some numbers. 101010. Okay. Sorry. 101010. All right. So I'm going to hit update now. Um, all right. Now that I've done that, I can come into Zapier. Uh, sorry, one more thing is, uh, let's go into the property content lock. I forgot to make these settings here. Uh, the main thing you want to do is make sure you lock properties only. Now, this allows you to, um, if you're locking the entire site, you won't be able to identify uh, which um, property they're coming from or which form they submitted through. Uh, so you want to use the uh, lock properties only. Um, that way, you'll be able to market that property to specific people. And then when they come to your page, they'll be able to enter in their information. And then you'll know exactly which properties they're looking at. Now I'm going to leave mine as forced uh, because I want to make sure I'm qualifying my uh, leads. Uh, if they're serious, they're going to fill this out, right? Um, okay. Once I've done that, um, now I know that anybody who comes and looks at my property, fills this out, is going to get tagged that 101010 tag or ID. Now I can assign a different ID for any property I want. So all of my properties can have the same ID, different ID, uh, unique IDs. You can use IDs for specific counties. So like County A for a few properties, County B for a few properties. You just have to manually enter that in per property. Again, you can use a Zapier property listing to do that as well. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is just simply test this inside of Zapier. Now, uh, I'm going to come into Zapier and um, I'm going to go into my Zaps. Uh, I've already created a zap here. Uh, so all you need to do is just create a zap. 
And then I'm going to basically I'm going to pull this into my active campaign, right? That's what I use. You could use anything you want. Zapier can connect with really anything. Um, so I'm going to choose an event. So basically when somebody submits a ninja form, um, I'm going to set up the webhook. They'll give you the instructions. You can um, install the add-on and then which we did already. Then you'll go to emails and actions um, of that specific form. And then basically you're going to paste this into that. So I will come into here. Uh, this is the ID4 form that I'm using. I'll edit the form. I'll go to emails and actions. Uh, and you can add, if you don't see Zapier here, you're just going to hit the plus sign, right? You're gonna choose a Zapier. Uh, here it is, right? And then once you add it, just gonna hit this gear icon and then paste that webhook that it was that was provided to you here. Uh, Let's, I'm just going to pull this closer here. There we go. Uh, so we're going to paste that in. And then you're going to find data. And what find data means is that it's going to pull an example submission. Now, when you hit find data, you're going to see nothing. It's it's going to show up as nothing. Uh, it couldn't find anything. What you need to do is actually come to your site, uh, open an incognito tab, visit that property that you uh, added the um, uh, ID note to, and then just submit this form. And once you've done that, it's going to be able to pull, uh, pull through that submission. And it'll use this as an example to map these fields out. All right. So I'm going to bring it, I'm going to bring it into active campaign, which I've done so here. Um, so I, I can choose whatever system I want. So I'm going to create a new contact. Um, and this is my active campaign account, right? Um, and then hit continue. I'm going to choose the list. Um, but the main thing is, I'm going to actually pull through um, the the tag. Now, the one the sample that I submitted, the the ID note was one zero one eight one zero one eight. You can again use anything you want to. Uh, so I would simply just hit show all options, come into here, and and find that uh, because I'm going to use that data, that ID uh, here, the hidden field. That's the one I want, and you can see I already got it there. And essentially, what I'm going to do with that tag is um, I'm going to um, run them through an automation. Whoever has that tag, I'm going to run them through an automation as I have active campaign. Or I may, uh, if it's a county, I might just run them through an automation for properties in that county. Or I might just uh, use that tag to um, tell tell active campaign hey put it into this list right a specific email list for uh, people who were who are looking at this property right uh, i can do all sorts of stuff but that sort of gives you a chance now to run off and again use that data to uh, market uh, create a better more targeted mar uh, marketing message to your buyer lead I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email hello at reiconversion.com. Uh, you can leave a comment under this video, wherever this video is going to be posted, uh, or you can simply uh, really, actually, I, this is going to be going out as an email as well. You can uh, hit a, um, a reply to this email and I'd be more than happy to answer your question. Cheers.